Okay, we're ready for video number two. Video number one, we assembled the first electromagnet. It's ready to go. We need to uncoil our second piece of wire. Again, it has to be a magnet wire, it has to have an enamel coating or an insulator on it. Again, be very careful. This, these ends are very sharp and you have to be aware of where those are at, especially when you are winding these around this armature. So I will cut away and be right back after this is uncoiled. Okay, after finally getting my wire undone, eventually we will have to scrape off this um, coating at the very end, but we're not going to do that right now. Later we will clip off some of this uh, if needed uh, and we will then sand off the insulator. I'm not going to lie to you, this will be probably the hardest part about this whole motor. You're going to have to have some strong fingers or have someone else to help you to get this started. We're going to take the two armatures here, the armature halves, that's going to make this iron core for this magnet. Again, we're going to leave two or three inches of the wire. Here's the way I like to do it. I'm going to pinch these three things. I'm going to pinch these two around the axle. And then as I do that, I am going to hold that with my other, uh, right underneath my thumb. Okay. And then I need to make at least three wraps. One, two, three. Notice I'm not too worried right now about how this is even. I want to make that up here in just a second. Then I'm going to come over the top and make one, two, three more. Okay. Probably another, th that makes a third one there. That's going to keep that fairly tight. Now this has got to come this wire is going to have to come right out next to the axle, so you got to keep that there. Don't let it slide off to the side. At that point, this is pretty tight. You have to have it tight enough that this doesn't move easily. And that can move a little bit, but it can't just freely spin inside of this, okay? So I've got about three and three here. So I want to count, and you can count anywhere from five to ten wraps on each side. Again, we want to keep this as tight as possible, but I'm going to wrap as neatly and as tightly. There's number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now here's the trick. If you wrap too tight now, coming back to the center, it's going to squish in between it and push all of your wire off the end. We don't want to do that. So there's eight, nine, ten. Now, I'm going to go to the other side. What you cannot do is because all of these wire, this wire all has to be wound in the same direction. That allows the electrons and, and the electricity to travel in one direction to make a north and a south pole. Now, if you do this, watch. As I go around the top, if I come and then go backwards, I'm going to reverse the electron flow in those magnets. That magnetic field will cancel out. So as I go to the other side of this axle, I've got to go and keep wrapping in the same exact direction, okay? So I got about nine wraps or 10 wraps on this side. I'm need to do the same over here, okay? I'm gonna wrap that around there just to keep this, I'll make it straight later. I'm just trying to keep it out of my way. So then I'm going to use my other hand. Again, being careful so that this stuff doesn't come up and hit me in the eye. One, two, three, four, five, six. Push that down if I want to. Seven. Eight. Again, not so tight now, because if I do, it'll really squish down in between and push those out. Come back up, 
and then I'm going to go across to the other side. The reason why we're trying to get about the same number of wraps is so that this thing is balanced. Remember, this thing's got to spin hundreds of times uh, in a minute, okay? So now I'm going to go to the other side. Try not to wrap too tightly, but tight enough that it doesn't um, uh, just come way out here. So there's two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to come back to the center. Seven, because I can kind of tell I'm getting closer to the end of my wire. Seven, coming under. Again, not reversing the direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to go to the other side. One, two, three, four other side one two three at this point I need to kind of stop because I've run out of room that right there is a decent coil because both of these wires need to come out near the axle here okay and we can then do the second part hardest part I'm going to cut away and then come back and show you a little trick if you have access to these tools all right, and so we're back. So another way to do this, if you're having a lot of trouble, is if you have access to one of these tools, these are locking pliers, vice grip brand. This is actually a crescent brand. Um, but what you can do is this. Go ahead and put this on here, okay? Take these and off to one side, you're gonna lock those down. That way you don't have to use your fingers to do this and then as you hold this okay you can hold this down here maybe remember you got plenty of wire you can a couple inches um, we can clip that off at the end you still have to hold this we'll make your first three loops one two Three, go to the other side. One, two, three. I would come back, go past one, two, three. Then I would go to the other side. Remember, keep going in the same direction. One, two, three. At that point, I can start to count some out. At the same time, at this point, this has already got this tight enough. You can take your locking pliers off, okay? And then just continually move this. We want, again, we want to just, I'm not going to keep this wrapped up right here. I'm just trying to get this out of my way so it doesn't get in the, the wires. So I've already got three. I'm just going to continue to 